Morning ladies, I'm here to do my next design team project for the Trinket Parlour over on Facebook and today I thought I would do some kilt pins. I received these in my Heavenly Cherubs box this month so um, I thought I would do a couple of those. So I've got together some bits and pieces, um, I've got my Heavenly Cherubs charms I just grabbed a selection. And some loveliness from uh, this month's box. This cute little bird cage with a pearl in it. These lovely flowers. I've got a bit of a bad shoulder, so I can't lift my arm up. So I thought this would be easy. These are some... Um, beads that I bought from the Trinket Parlour. Um, I've got a bit of chain that I had in my stash. I've got some head pins and some eye pins. And I've got my box of uh, split rings and bead caps and all sorts in there. So, um, and I've got my toolage. Round those pliers, these ones, can't remember what they're called, and some cutters. So, uh, I did start by adding one of the beads. I made this um, myself with some wire because I want to dangle this from it like that. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to put this on my kilt pin and I want to put these charms on it as well. So if I just get this lot out and then put them over there, make some room. So I think what I'm going to do is something along those lines how long is that going to be is that going to be long enough we'll see and then that on a bit of chain down there so i need a piece of chain first so let's just take a bit of this as usual i haven't got my specs So let's just undo that. As you know, I'm not great with the fiddly stuff. So that's that one. Now I need to open this up. Actually, no, I'm not going to open that up. I'm going to add a split ring onto that. Quite a big one. So it just saves me fiddling with the um, the little parts on here. Let's add that onto there while I'm at it. Bring that back together. Okay. And then I'm going to put another one on the bottom. I've got some smaller ones actually somewhere. Let's have a look what I've got. That one there looks okay. So I'm going to undo that one. I'm going to add my pretty little bird cage onto there and then I'm going to add that onto the bottom of that chain like so and then bring them back together. That 
looks all right. Yeah. So that's my chain. Don't know whether it's going to be a bit too long, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get some of these out. I'm not going to add anything to the charms. I'm just going to put those straight on. So I want the big one this end. Bring them back together. Just keep twisting it back and forth until you feel them scraping against one another. Oh, see, I'm no good with fiddly things. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, is that together? That's better. Okay, so that's like that. And then I'm going to add the big, the other big one, the other side. So, where's my charm? There it is. That one there. That one there. Bring that back together. That's okay. Except for it's back to front. <laughs> Take that off again. Turn it around the other way. Take it off. Put it on that way. That's better. Okay. So that's that. And then I'm going to add the other one in the middle, put it on, make sure I get it the right way, this go that way, bring that back together, Just realised I got my radio on again. Oh dear. Hang on. Yeah. Hopefully I won't get banned. Yeah. And then I'm just going to add on this. So I think what I'm going to do put that on that ring there. Close my ring up. So, so that's on there, and I'm going to open the bottom one up, now should I put it on a bit of chain, no, it'll be fine won't it, it'll be fine, so I'm just going to open that up a bit, make sure I attach it the right way, and then close my ring again. Is it hanging the right way? No. Off, put it on the other way, close it up again. 
fiddly fiddly. Better. So this first one. Might put something, make that a little bit longer. Maybe. Straighten that out. I am going to put a little bit of chain on that one. So I'm going to take that off there. Get another little piece of chain. Only a little bit. It's so little, I can't get hold of it. I wonder if I've got the wrong end. I really need my glasses. Driving me mad. Use my fingers. That's better. That's that. Take that loop off there. Then I'm going to hang that from there and close that back up. Oh. Sorry if I keep going off camera. Oh, shoulder. Don't know what I've done to it. That's better. That's better, better. Now I need one too big, as long as that fits on there. close that up. Hopefully it's on the right way. We'll soon find out. Oh. Fiddle. Needs to close up a bit more. Oh, right, hold it tight. One more little. Do it that way. 
Like that. Is it the right way? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to take this off and hang it the other way. There's my first one, my heavenly cherubs. Let's just straighten that bead, that's better. So it dangles properly. So there you are. Cute, 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 I like that. So that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Now on this one, what I thought I'd do, if these rings are big enough, let's grab some out, so I've got some bigger ones, I thought I'd do some of these little flowers if I can get them in there what I might do is uh, I'm not sure that's going to be big enough let's give it a go Open that up a bit more. No, that's not going to work because so I need to straighten it out. So I think what I'll do is use a head pin. I just think I've uh, only got my pins left. I need to do some ordering. Sure, I saw one in there earlier. Where are you? Oh, this one. Let's just see if that stays on. Yes. Okay. Now should I put more on? See how that hangs. No. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it still. No. Right, let me have a rethink about that one. But I know I do want to put on some chain. I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to fiddle. Some chain. And then I want to use this pretty, pretty on the bottom. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Let's close that up. Like that. And then I'm going to put another one.
on there to make sure I get it the right way. Let's try that, see how that goes. No, that's not going to work because it's just going to dangle down like that. So how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? I think I'm going to have to glue that down, maybe. Take that off. What else have we got? Where's my little trinket pile of goodness? What else have I got? Some more charms, got the Beauty and the Beast charm still. So maybe use some of those. Oh, I still got one of those as well. Look. I love these. So let's try some of these Beauty and the Beast charms. We've got Castle, the Candelabra, the Teapot. Oh, and I love heart. And I've got a little rose in here as well. So, like that, I think. Maybe like that. I'm going to put the rose on the chain. All fiddly fiddly, close that up. Like that. Hmm. What's going to hang on? Turn that round. Okay, that's that. Should do some more chain. Let's put these on. Little teapot and sauce cup. Rather. That's on. On this one, I'm going to put the rose and the heart on there. Um, that's that so far. Now I want to 
What's that creepy thing? I wonder if I could add that on there at the end. Hmm. Might do. That and that. Um, do, do, do. Trying to think of how to add those on. Let's find this. Put some of these pretty beads on. What else have I got? Oh, I've got some of these beads. Here. These from the trinket parlour as well. Little pink and green and white beads. And another blue one. Can't be off that. I don't want all that. That. So I can hang that. I think I'm going to hang the castle from that one. So let's get one of these. The castle on my beads, close it up, What I might do is put that on that, take that one off. Take that off. And put that one on there. Close jump, no. That's better. Put one in there like that, and then I'm going to put this next to it. Like that, that's better. Put 
and then I'm going to do another head pin for this one here. I'm going to move that one over. I'm going to move the teapot over. Put it on that one. And then I'm going to have another bit of chain, I think, or, or some more beads, which think. <coughs> or that. Right. I think I'll do another bead. Small blue ones like that. Another eye pin. I'll put my blue and my pink and my blue again. Cut some of that off. a bit too much off but never mind sorry Better. And another ring. I should put my glasses on. I can't see. Doing little fiddly things like this. went up the sleeve. <laughs> Open it up a bit more so I can actually get it on there. That's going to go on there like so. Put that back together. That's it. And then add my little love part. That's not on the right way. That needs to turn around. Is it? Oh no, it's all right. So then I'm going to just put this on the bottom of the other beads. I can find the end. Now, my lovely little rose and heart that needs to hang that way. Yeah. So there you are. I keep making these brooches, but I thought what I'd do today as well 
is, um, you know, get, make a display thing, packaging type thing for it. So I need to go and find some papers. That is on back to front, that heart. So I am going to move that. Put it on the right way. That's better. So yeah, Beauty and the Beast. No, that castle's on the wrong way. Or is it just the way I'm hanging it? I think it's just the way I'm hanging it. So there you are. That's my next one. Yes, they're so simple to make and so pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's my two, when they stop dangling about everywhere. So that's my heavenly cherubs and that's my beauty and the beast. So I'm going to make something to put them on. So bear with me, I'm just going to put you on pause. I want to do something with those flowers. Let's just have a little tidy up. Put that back in there. And then in there. Alright, I'm just going to put you on pause and I'm going to go and find some papers. Okay, I'm back again. I've got some, uh, just some creamy coloured cardstock. And I'm going to do the brooch that I did last week as well. So I've got three, three just uh, six by six pieces of paper. So, and I've got my Timmy Alts Baroque die. So I thought I'd put pin them on that. So I need to cut my card down to size first. Oop. So I'll just do that quick. Make sure it's going to be wide enough. A bit more. That'll do. Oh, we can cut very well. One. That can be. And do that in half, I think. Is that going to fit? Oh well, I'll get some more if it doesn't. I don't think it's going to, but hey ho, never mind, eh? Oh, so let's cut this. Down the card. I don't know if that's going to fit, so let's do one at a time. Like that. Put my bits the wrong way round. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't put me thing in the middle. Look, I need to try and get that out now without bending it up. No. Right, I've mucked that up, so I'll be back. Right, sorry about that. Start again. I think I might get away with doing these all together. So, 
saw a guy. That one there, that one there. Oh, that on. Right, so there's two. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> oh, I'm a dizzy mood today. Really, I am. No, I can't get them out. I'll be back. <laughs> right, start again. Oh, I forgot to put this bit in the middle. And if you don't put that bit in, then you can't get the papers out. So, this time I've remembered, I'm going to put that little piece on top first to make sure it fits, and then the bigger ones like that. Works that time. So I've got three of those. So I can get rid of that now. And now I'm going to do the designer paper. Don't know what collection this is because they're just loose in my um, in my box of scraps. So that's that. There then. Get rid of that now. Oh, I can't pick it up now. Get that out of the way. Get rid of these bits of metal. In the bin. Papers, that paper's going the wrong way. I'll try to put them like that. Couldn't I? Right, I'm just going to get some glue. I'll be back in a sec. Really should get more organised, shouldn't I? Oh, I've got my glue. Oh, I don't know if there's much left, so I've got, bought another one as well. Just put that upside down for a minute, let the glue come out. I've got my hole punch for my, for, you know, setting your eyelets. I'm just going to poke some holes in this to put the Ujima flips through, the pins. So let's get all these glued down. I'm nearly out of this glue, but well, I've got a new bottle, but I just want to make sure. Well, it's not want not, eh? I could sit here all day picking bits off like this. When I was a kid, I used to smother my hand in glue <laughs> and then sit and pick it off. Oh, that it's coming out. So, put my glue on, all around the edges, Like that. So if I put it up the right way, that should just fit on there perfectly. Mm. 
turn it around. Glue that down, burnish it down, I should say. And I'll ink the edges of those as well. So that's the first one. first before I put the glue on. That's it. So same thing, glue all around your edges. And some in the middle. Burnish that one down. That's the next one, and then the last one. Again, apply your glue. Lined up nicely. Always manage to move them around. So they're not lined up. Don't know how, but I do. <coughs> right then. So that's that. Where's one? This is more one I did last week. Let me just take that out of the packaging. This is the one I made last week. Hang on there like that. Not sure I put it the right way. Or should I put it on? There. Yeah, that looks nice. You can see it better on that one, can't you? 
So I need to work out where I am going to put my holes. So I'm going to have that one on there. And I think I'm going to put these this way because they're dangly. On there like that. And that one on there. Like, right, I'm going to put that one on there. That one on there. That's better. Yeah. So I need to put my holes. Where's my pen? Oh! Knocking everything over. Right. I can bring that one down a bit because I've got plenty of room. So I think I'm going to put my holes about there and there on that one. And then on this one, how can I get it down like that? So I'm going to put that one there and there. Can't see them very well. There. There. On that one, and then this one, I think it's going to go there and there. All right, so then I'm going to grab my hole maker, find my marks. Okay, so that'd be that one. that one that one there and that one there okay so then we're gonna open the pin and just thread that through hopefully it's okay, I'm going to, have to bend it a bit put that there on there like that close it back up that's it that that looks better doesn't it so that's that one and then this one again bend it in so the pin comes through bring the pin up That one, 
So they make lovely Christmas presents and things like that. A bit of packaging. Let's take this off. A bit awkward to get that off with the beads on. Oh, it pulls out, that's why. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that pin through there. Give it a bend. And then put the end back on. Pretty, pretty. Don't know whether that one is a bit too uh, too patterned at the background because you can't really see it very well. But so there you are, some packaging as well. So and you can even maybe put some pretty flowers on the packaging or something. I won't do all that now. So there you have some lovely kilt pins. You can just bag up now and give away as presents or sell them or whatever. And that's the one I did last week. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So there you are. Now, yeah, I think I'm going to put them in bags. I can't find my bags. I haven't got a clue where they are. So I'll put them in bags. And then what I do is I put some photos at the end of the video so you can um, see them. But yeah, there you are. Nice and easy. Easy gift to make. Christmas presents, birthday presents, or to sell at craft fairs, anything like that. And all available from the Trinket Parlour. Everything you see, yeah, everything on here, apart from my little rings and my little chain, everything comes from the Trinket Parlour. And the same with that one. Everything's from the Trinket Parlour. And on this one, I use my own glass beads, but the lovely rose brooch you can get from the trinket parlour. Beautiful. I really like that one. I think it looks nice. So there you have it, ladies. That's my design team project for this week. But I am, um, I'll need to catch up. So um, I'm going to do something else as well. So you'll see me soon. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to get on over to the Trinket Parlour where you can get all this loveliness and make some of these yourself. They're over on Facebook. You can do a search for them. <coughs> Excuse me. Or I will leave a link below and um, you could just copy and paste that into your browser or click on the link and it should take you straight there. So thanks for joining me and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>